things down. And now what I'd like to do is just go over how to find the distance between two points. And not just two points on the x-intercept. So, so far we found out, I give you guys a formula. I gave you guys a formula how to find the distance between two points on the x-axis, right? What about if I give you a y-axis now as well? All right, and let's say I have two points, and let's do three, one. And let's do one, two, three, four, one, two. All right, so let's do I have three, one. And let's do I do negative two, or I'm sorry, negative three, four. All right, and let's say I wanted to find the distance. I want to find the distance between one point and the next. So therefore, the first thing I want to do is label these, right? Remember the x-axis? How did I label them? I labeled one x, x1, and the other x, x2, right? Now remember, coordinates come in the form of x, comma, y. So I can do the same thing. x1, x2. But now, instead of just having an x-axis, now I also have a y-axis. So I'm going to do the same thing. y1, y2. Yes? Yeah, here. What do you? Yeah, wouldn't it be on the bottom? Yeah, it wouldn't be on the bottom. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I wrote negative one. It's a positive one. Sorry. Thank you. Um. All right. Did everybody see that? So when we talked about the at the distance, what we determined. Yes, here. Oh, there you got it. Okay. Um, what we determined was the absolute distance. Remember, was the absolute value of. Um, the distance, the subtraction of our two uh, terms, right? So what we have is, if I want to find the distance, we're going to have x2 minus x1, and then we have y2 minus y1. Now before, we did something with absolute value. Well, what we're going to do in this case, to produce the absolute value, if I take a negative number and a positive number and I square it, am I always going to have a positive value? If I take a negative number or a positive number and I multiply it by itself, am I always going to have a positive number? Yes. So to find the distance formula, which we will learn later where it comes from, I just want you guys to be able to write it to there. So let's go and look at our example because this is the distance formula for when we have two points. So therefore now, let's just plug in what we have. So to find the distance, you just take x2, which is 3 minus negative 3, squared, plus y2, which is 1 minus y1, which is 4, squared. Well, 3 minus negative 3 is 6. 6 squared is 36. Plus 1 minus 3 is going to be negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. equals the square root of 45. What? Where did I miss you? You see where I got? Where did those <laughs> where, there's no division. No division. What? Oh, that's the square root? That's the square root, yes. Um, we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you uh, next chapter where, where you got, where we got that. Oh, wait a minute, that's, that's six squared. So the distance between there is going to be the square root of 45. And if you guys want to simplify that a little bit further, that'd be 3 square root of 5. But we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so that's how you find the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing is making sure you have this formula set up. And we will go back to that formula again. But for right now, I just want you guys to have that written down. Yep, you wrote it down.